Welcome to my channel where you find all about mixed media, art journaling, assemblage and anything else that sparks my interest. Hi, my name is Bea Grob and I'm glad you are here today. Welcome back to another play in the altered book. I'm uh, gonna tackle this page, so I first gonna actually add some gesso before I then go in with the ink. And then I'm gonna play on with this stuff over here. So let's get some gesso going. Not really heavy layer, just a little bit. And I need my protection here. Now we're going to make a mess, so I recommend having some towels handy and adding a protective sheet here. I try to see that you can see it. So that's a gold ink. As usual with any metallic uh, colors you have to disperse the particles when you haven't used it for a while. That's a uh, Tayleroni yellow ochre and that's uh, Dr. P. Martin's grass green. So let's see how that works. I have a box here to help me have that a little bit in an angle. Okay, I need to grab a pipette for the green. The others have the pipettes incorporated. And I actually think I'm first gonna spray a little bit of water because I want drippage. I will be back when I have cleaned up this mess. <laughs> okay, I'm back. Um, I did clean up and the page is nice and dry. There isn't too much happened except here I do have a little bit of yellow but I have planned anyway to do something with this page. I like this side better where I have used napkin so I kind of feel it's empty, you know. Okay, let's go on. I'm gonna stamp first my dragon. I'm gonna use this on black ink, any permanent ink will work. That's what I happen to have. Okay, and next I only need the head of her. That is, I have no idea what kind of stamp this dragonfly is, but this is uh, from the stamp boutique. It's from Daniel Torrente. I like those girls. But I only need the head this time. So let's see how we're going to do it. Too good, I need it darker. Now I'm gonna fussy cut it, okay, I have some black ink somewhere, uh, but I'm gonna speed up the process and probably edit, it, edit out some parts. Now to cut out the inner part I actually prefer a blade 
Although I most I prefer the scissors, but for some parts it's really easier with the blade. And I rather turn the paper than the blade. Now I go on with the scissors. And I don't make my life more complicated than necessary, so I'm gonna cut off this part here. Here we are. That's what I want. Oh, you can't see it. Now I'm gonna glue her together and then I'm gonna color her with, um, I think, Prisma colors. So I'm gonna put her right in the middle of the book and then write all around her. So a pretty long sentence, but I like it. So give her a little bit of glue here. tilted or not because I think I like even when I'm drawing I like the things a little bit tilted isn't she a beauty <laughs> now I'm gonna zoom you in a little bit because it's awful tiny here we are I use uh, the purple oh that's a pastel that's wrong this one for shading and I do have a neon somewhere for her cheeks, why not? <laughs> and the eyes going to be, I think, blue. Okay, let's start with that. So first, just a little bit of shading. There's something here, okay. Not an awful lot, it's a tiny surface, but still. Then I want her to have really bright cheeks, so I'm going to give her some cheeks. And let's see, I'm not sure, it doesn't work, it's too dark. And the blue eyes. skin color and she's gonna have green hair why not no that's not a good idea on this background oh, well it should work I lately made me myself a gift I did buy those Stabilo um, fluorescent and I'm thinking I'm thinking let's see how would that be give her some fluorescent green hairs <laughs> just because I can I must say I'm liking it and they also do have like pastels just bugs me if they don't don't have highlights so she's gonna go here and the quote I want to say is be the flawed quirky unique beautiful and ma magical person that you are I think that's very appropriate now I'm gonna glue her first and then I'm gonna draw some lines and start writing with a fine pen and then I go over with the larger
Okay, no risk, no fun. I'm just gonna start. <laughs> and I'm gonna switch up the fonts and I'm gonna switch up the uppercase and lowercase and small, I might be small and big, but whatever strikes my fancy. <laughs> I don't have planned it. I just go with the flow. But if you want, you can use a, like a paper and plan it out first. Okay, I give it a quick heat blast and then I try to erase the lines. Now, to look at text more as a, a form, I like to put it upside down. It helps me to concentrate more on the form than on the letter itself. Okay, I think that's it. One of my morphies again. <laughs> For those who follow me a little bit, they know that I also do assemblages where I put like doll's head on a bird's body. So I like that kind of stuff. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed that video and I hope to see you soon again. Take care. Bye. <laughs>